वेलकम टू ई पाठशाला वी आर नाउ गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इंडस्ट्रियल लैंडस्केपिंग ऑफ एनएस इंस्ट्रूमेंट एनएस इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज अ फैक्ट्री व्हिच इज लोकेटेड इन आंध्र प्रदेश इन तडा व्हिच इज ऑलमोस्ट अराउंड 140 किलोमीटर्स फ्रॉम चेन्नई ऑन द नेशनल हाईवे टू कलकत्ता टू से so we take a, a left turn on the street city which, which we call it go into the street city and then go into this factory so once and we started designing this particular factory we had lot of enthusiasm about designing it and getting it properly executed everything happened that is you know these kind of an industrial parts or this kind of a uh, what you call them like uh, your uh, meets uh, your uh, economic zones so there you know they don't allow you to take any ground water from the ground so every water every drop of water is controlled by the society controlled by the developer so when you are developing this kind of garden the water availability has become very very less so without that knowledge we had a problem initially but however we came out of the problem and then told them to provide so much of water and they provided water and then we have taken care of the planting in such a way that it looks a very good uh, planting area with a nice plants colorful plants foliage plants good avenue trees all the three names everything given in the planting plan will give you a guidance to learn and to use them in your future good day to everybody today we are going to talk about industrial landscaping what is industrial landscaping why do we do industry is a normally we talk about lot of pollution in case of producing industries mechanical or any other equipment producing industries will always generate lot of pollution number one or chemical industry maybe okay it industry doesn't pollute pollute we talk but it also polluted in a different way like heat generating through the computers so all those things are heat generations only nothing other than that so how are we going to handle them in our perspective in our landscape planting plan so that you know we create a better environment number 1 number 2 we also give a carbon compensation number 3 we also add to the environment improvement of microclimate create a better environment for workers create a bra- ambience for the factory create outdoor spaces for the people to use see these are all the fundamental requirement of landscaping when we are talking about industrial landscaping moreover nowadays most of the industry require the security also so whenever you plant a tree along the boundary of the building you have to see that the minimum canopy height is more than 5.5 meters or 6 meters so that nobody can climb from inside to outside from outside to inside these are all the basic requirement of choosing of the plant material number 1 number 2 chooses of indigenous plants material so that you know exotic plant you know will take more time to grow in a tougher environment with the industrial pollution number 3 we also have to use the plant material which are all semi deciduous deciduous evergreen plants so that you know whatever dust pollution we are creating through the industrial pollution can be falling down from the form of leaf then we have to allow the tree to take the new leaf so that we can have the new tree new leaf will take the additional pollution which are generated by the in- industrial so this is the way where we have to understand the whole thing okay today we are going to talk about a one single industrial area where these all the problems what we talked about have been taken care we have a huge factory the total plot area is roughly around 20 acres of area with existing existing wooded area on the back side then we have a parking and the other uh, aesthetical area in the front side and then utility roads on the utility roads on the both the sides of the building and then you have fire extinguisher track for the uh, utility purposes so how are we going to attack this kind of requirement so in front of the building you create a lawn you create a 
parking area main entrance need to be aesthetically oriented then sides of the roads normally you have a side planting with the rain harvesting wells and rain harvesting pits then you have wooded area on the other side so all this requirement need to be handled properly you have wooded area planting more trees like to make the space look more green number 1 the concept is we want to plant more trees in the area to make the space looks more greenery number 1 trees used in the factory tall trees for compound wall side for security reason and the branches should not obstruct the lorry movement anybody you know from outside people cannot climb into the tree come into the factory or inside people cannot climb and go out of the factory then canopy trees for the parking area these trees will provide a shade for the parking and bird attracting trees should not be planted in the parking area as the birds droplets will spoil the car so some kind of a sensitivity is required when you are choosing the plant material for planting in these areas flowering trees on the road sides in order to create a colorful avenue you have to choose colorful plain trees so that you know you have a color is available color is always attractive for the eyes so different colors of plant materials are available like peltophorum or gulmohar or spathodia we can use all these species and trees in order to achieve the color on the road maybe you can use one color on one side of the road another color on the other roads so that every road will have a distinct coloring pattern then you can also think in terms of specimen tree something like sp- uh, ficus something like plumeria all these trees you know will have a different look for itself so that it will have a very good uh, striking appeal when you are using these kind of tree then you have to think in terms of aroma usually most of the factories do have a stp area sewage treatment area where the smell is always bad so how to avoid it so use sage of some aroma trees something like jasmine tree something some plants like uh, jasmine some other plants like other fragrant trees are available plants are available we can use them so that you know we ultimately create a conducive environment for the people to use usage of palm tree palm tree is always a very attractive plant you use in main movement area to create aesthetic look apart from that palms are also takes a lesser space so it can grow vertically then shrubs create colorful mass planting near the building sides and the entrance area shrubs are usually created in a way so that you know you have colors throughout the year a in the form of leaf pattern b in the form of colors during the coloring season uh, flowering season number 3 the different masses of leaves you know will create a different light and shade for the entrance area hedge planting normally hedge plants are planted where you know you need to hide something when you ne- require to hide something you can use a hedge planting this hedge plant will camouflage the unwanted things on the other side one is a good good point another one is unwanted things is always will be there they will not clean that area so you always think in terms of a area where you know these plants also hedge plants is done near to the building so that unwanted things are not dumped and not removed then you have grasses we have two three varieties of grasses are available so initially when your factory is done it's a barren land where no trees nothing will be there so you plant a tree plant need to tree need to grow to a taller height then only it start giving you the shade so till then you know you have one variety of grass and then when the shade comes change into shade grass area so the different te- texture available in terms of landscaping you have korean grasses you have dub grass you have g2 grass you have shade grass korean grass is normally used for aesthetical purpose you when you create mounds or anything for a meadows and other thing you will need to have a korean grass whereas uh, dub grass is always used you know it takes lot of dust you need to cut the grass once in 20 days 
once you cut the grass whatever dust collected on the grass will be going out and new grass will grow to take care of additional dust coming in during the uh, next season so this way dhup grass act as a dust remover or dust uh, collector so that that is one advantage dhup grass is also our local grass which is a very very hardy variety we call it dhup grass in local language otherwise it's called as australian grass or it is called as cynodon dactylon this uh, this is the grass which normally we use in chennai area or andhra pradesh area where the factory is situated and uh, it doesn't require much of maintenance number one number two if there is no water also it will it will die itself inside the ground once you start watering it will again grow up so this grass will always be available for you even when it died or anything the third grass is shade grass shade grass can be used only when there is a shaded area available where the sunlight is not there at least you sh- you have a sunlight of only 20 25% rather than 100% where other areas so shade grass will be used in the those areas then planting design for a factory normally plant will be designed in such a way you have wooded area you have avenue trees you have ascent plants you have mass planting then you have multi level planting for the kind of usual connectivity specimen specimen plants for attraction ground covers and creepers for visual connection again undulating grass for mound so that you even though if you have a smaller area if you create undulating lawns or mounds you feel you have a more area available for you plus you have flag posts fountains and other thing like that so this is actually a planting concept is giving normally it is given shaded tree for the parking area group of palms near the entrance for aesthetical purpose wooded area is retained and then creation of wooded area on the back side hedge planting all along the compound wall with f- few taller trees this is a concept of the planting concept from side planting concept you have a larger area of mass planting is available avenue planting is available then you have a parking shade loving plants are available then you have hedge planting all along the side of the parking so that yeah, whatever dust created on the parking area will not go into the lawn area and spoil that area you have aroma plants along the hstp area you have dhup grass on the along the building area these are the basic concept of planting you can see then you have mounds undulating lawns are created on the bank area so that you feel lot of space is available once the mounds are created the area is already extended area you can feel these grassy mounds will give you a very good uh, what do you say aesthetical look plus you have clusters of group of trees are available which will also improve the biodiversity of the area these are away from the factory and other area these can also attract some birds and other thing so you are also trying to contribute for avifauna then this is the overall master plan of the planting area how every zone what kind of plants are planted everything is provided in detail you can go through with them in the detail so that it will be helpful for you yeah there are different type of planting are done in that front area inviting experience you need to have a beautiful avenue trees on the entrance area colorful planting on the sides then palms along the avenue to create a inviting experience normally vertical it will also create you a verticality lush green lawn to show more ambience of space available shaded tree in the parking area then uh, trees on the boundary to act as a visual buffer best suited for industries korean grass to give a rich look this is a basic concept of planting and this is on the other side where you know hedge huge trees alistonia or thespisia used near the boundary as a visual barrier easy 
growing native variety species are used easy maintenance of the plants visually appealing plants are all used you have to go through this planting plan in detail in order to understand why it is being used color texture uh, leaf pattern height of the plant will give you the character of the landscaping rear side of the planting plant we have created undulating lawn creating dense wooded area with cluster of trees with for uh, biodiversity each cluster a huge tree with the border leaves broader leaves and then smaller leaf different leaf shapes are used so that you have a totally different character in that area these are the examples of how the mound can be created with the walkway flowering trees spathodia thebubia rosea striculia fortida then you have bahunia blackinia cardia sabastina these are all some of the flowering trees added for aesthetical purposes Tra tall trees are located near the building and shorter ones away from the building specimen trees actually planted to prominent the to give a highlight of that area then palms are there you have date palm fish tail palm fox tail palm kentia palms royal palms harika palms raffle palm these are all different types of palm are used in different locations so that the entire area is being highlighted and given a very lush green look then shrubs and ground cover we have song of india lantanas are there is a wild plant sometimes you can use them otherwise mostly it is not advisable to use lantana nerium is normally our arali we call it in our local language it's a very good colorful plants we have exoras taller one dwarf one and chlorophytum is there all these ground covers rohyo ground cover is there heranthemum is the available acalypha is a local plant with vedelia as a ground cover plumbago also a small shrub raffles excels again is a palm variety taberna montana is a nandiyavatai we call it in tamil it is one of the very good flowering white flowering plant opio pagan white is also again you know it's a plant smaller shrubs with colorful plants these are all different varieties of hedge plants we have we have lilies we have lantana saloviana we have some other purple flowers morning glories are there all these things you know once you look at different planting plan you really understand what is required to be done hedge planting these are all screening for the hedge and trim it properly use them and when you go through the drawing when you go through every element of things used in this particular project you will understand we have taken care of the foliage the flowering the avenue plantation hedge plantation and you have interest value usual interest that is ascent plants are used so when you go through all the different kind of planting and different usages you will understand everything has been very <coughs> carefully done to achieve a goal we also use some aromatic plants around the treatment plant area so that the smell from the treatment plant is not coming into the main factory area so you can go through the design go through everything in detail and enjoy doing it thank you